Now we'll check if our template works. Just load the template and create a new session. Import session data and find the session you want to import from. Make sure tempo, key signatures, and markers are selected, and only import alternate playlists and clips, nothing else. Now, as I look around the session, it looks like we have overdubbed tracks. So let's go back to the session and fix it up so it better suits this recording. We'll delete the tracks we don't need, duplicate our strings, reset the grouping and coloring, and we're set. Now we can go to import the session data and go ahead this time. Notice the button Match Tracks. This only works if the tracks follow the exact same naming convention, so this time we must match the tracks manually. I'll speed through this. I imported my clicks into new tracks just in case. Notice how my session parameters are still in place, but now I have the audio files that I needed, as well as their playlists. I would import a session to mix only after I have edited and created a composite file. Let's have a quick listen. Okay, everything is working properly. We have some clipping, but it's okay. We haven't even begun mixing. I'll just route some simple reverbs and adjust some gain in the submasters. That's a bit better. 
To check that the prints work, I'll just activate the prints and test it out. It works. This is by no means mixed yet, but now we know that the template works.